Hi everyone, uh, welcome to my channel and thank you for choosing to watch this video. It's been a very long time since I made a video and I have lots of sad reasons why I didn't record any video and why I decided to do it right now, just a day or so before Christmas. Uh, just to make it short, fast forward to all the back end drama. Um, first of all, I tried to be, well, it's Halifax and it's a small um, city. People usually dress Christmassy. It's not, so you don't look like an idiot if you go do a grocery like this. And I didn't have the elf uh, leggings. Uh, so I was still way behind the others. I just had the red sweater. I didn't have any, I don't, I, I couldn't find them. I don't know where the elf leggings were and I couldn't find my elf hat. So I was just like, you know, classic red, but anyways. Um, by the way, the, uh, these uh, jeans, I don't know if you're specified or things as jeans, but uh, I'm a bit, so, first going to my life and then we'll go to fashion and that kind of things so um yeah i still have gidget <laughs> um i had a very sad and down four five months in the past uh year which is almost half of the year it was not a good year for me 2023 and uh, I'm not a happily bubbly person anyways. I'm more of gray and realistic and uh, it's just my personality to be that way. And uh, like I said before, I just happen to be interested in fashion and learn more about it. And uh, I went into fashion, that was it. But I meant to, or I, plan to my goal was to have at least one video a week because a lot happens in a week to just summarize in 10 minutes or five minutes or whatever uh but i couldn't do it and i apologize for that i sincerely apologize for that i couldn't do it because i couldn't even comb my hair there were days and nights that it was as dark as they could be, but it happens. I'm not a surprise and I'm sure it happens for you. It happens for people uh, around us. Uh, the main thing is, or the most important thing is, what's that dark thing up there? I don't know. Uh, I don't know, there's like a shadow of dark thing. I just was lazy to go upstairs and then this area and the tree is right here, it's more Christmassy, and even the moose is over there. So it's like, all oh, it's Christmassy. I just thought, well, let's just do the video around here. Uh, yeah, I just couldn't do it. And I apologize for that. I did short videos. I did like two minute videos. I did short ones. I start being active on Instagram, but again very short and sweet and yeah that wasn't me anyways uh, that's called life um it is what it is i'm not gonna say hopefully 2024 is gonna be better because my hope is not gonna change anything uh all i can do is push forward uh never back and push through it um let's just start with my leggings or jeans or whatever you want to call it so I'm, I am a big fan of the Spanx because their jeans or whatever you want to call these jeans or leggings or whatever, they last forever, like ever. Uh, I was poor, I was a resident 10 years ago and then a friend of mine from the state sent me, I didn't even know what's the Spanx and then sent me this pair of jeans i guess you can call it and it's like the jeans material but 
it's like it's like brown and black and stuff like that anyways um it was size small i still wear it 10 years later uh you can't tell it's 10 years old and then i you know that's me i kind of go around and i'm like oh my god there is a brand name is Spanx, and everyone is like yeah it's also good for making you slimmer and you know you look more proportional uh, well, like, I don't I don't know I don't know sorry I don't know um, so what I learned this year is their sizing has changed so I was a small and I got I don't know like $800 value in a small size and none fit and i'm not kidding one of them i couldn't return it because i was positive that this is my size it's a small and uh like it was extra small small medium and i'm like i'm not medium i'm just like you know i'm just small and uh and the one i had was a small and that was a bit loose so i was like just small so I took the tag off, which apparently at that point you can't return it, $200 plus taxes. And so I am stuck with that one. And if I find anyone that is half size than I am, because small is like, I don't know. It, and I tried the other ones too, but honestly, that was like extra, extra small, like two X is small. That was not small, but you know what? The sizing might have changed or whatever just to give you guys heads up because now there is a very good sale going on i got this for 70 percent sale free delivery on anything so there is no limit i got this for i think honestly less than 50 bucks canadian um including taxes and uh i paid for it couple of days ago and i just got it right now and i wore it honestly uh, so they have the best deals right now obviously black friday was the best time which i fucked up because i bought everything in a small and then when i wanted to so i tried one on and my friend was here so she's trying and i'm trying to put that small size on and then they kind of like around the belly area they are more like they're not jeans jeans like they don't have or at least the ones i've seen they're more like you know put things that kind of keep your guts in so you look slimmer it was so tight that i had pain in my belly and i had cramps afterwards so i'm not going to touch that pair ever again but if i find someone who is half of my size which would be someone with, I don't know, like eating disorders, I would be more than happy to give that $220 pair of jeans or from a Spanx, that's it. Uh, I returned the rest and then uh, now Black Friday is over. I want to get the medium size and everything is back to the original price and most of things are out of stock. I was lucky enough to get the same pair of jeans that the small was so small for me in medium size. And if I would wear the medium size, you would say, that's a bit loose, don't you think? You should have gone a size smaller. I did go a size smaller and the one size is smaller, it's too small. So I don't know, what is it? Is it like is it that a style because this is medium size and i'm just going to show you this is medium size and it's just perfect it's not loose it's not tight it's comfortable but the one i have is dark jeans and that's loose like that's good for you know driving somewhere you want to be comfortable or something like that but it's not fitted for my body so i don't know if it was that specific style in jeans but the leggings and other stuff that i got in a small size i couldn't wear them at all either so i don't know was it wrong patch or something but please if you do get a spanx which i know most of us do don't take off the tag 
and I think smart people don't do it, but I don't think I'm a very smart person. Don't take off the tag. Try it on. If you're not happy, you can always exchange and they're exchanged and the return is amazing. It happens like this. Having said this, they forgot to do it every time to me. So after a couple of days, I'm like, hmm, how come they refunded the $400 and then the 250 is still not happened? I called, they did it right away. But it's not like a hassle. Like you don't have to be on the phone and on hold for like five days. Uh, that was about Spanx. And they also have a kind of bra that um, I know and I understand that new days uh, people do implants, breasts, and they feel more confident. Uh, they naturally do not have uh, big breasts or they love to have bigger breasts or whatever the reason is. It was never my issue, so I don't really have any idea about it. But I know people who are uh, cup A or double A or cup B and would love to go to double D. Uh, I don't know which brand would help with that. I have no idea. But myself, I'm triple D, double D. And when I want to be, when I want to go out and hang out with friends and, you know, be, you know, dressed up and stuff like that, I don't care. These are my breasts. I'm happy with it. I'm not shameful or whatever. But there are times that I want to teach in the hospital or, you know, in the clinic, in the at university. It's a meeting. It's not, you know, I'm not there for be a model of Victoria's Secret. So I want my breasts to be not into people's faces. And now it's one of those. So Spanx has a type of bra that I will add it to the description down here. It's for, it says downsize pressure. I don't know. It, it kind of makes them look smaller by pressure rising them. If it makes any sense, if I may, I don't know if I even make sense, but instead of making them, you know, like a nice breast, it's more like a flat thing. So and the sizing also changes. So my size is 32 triple D. When I want to go with the Spanx, it's 34 D. So there's like two sizes changing in the cup and one size all around. So 32 triple D Victoria's Secret goes to 34 D from a Spanx with this specific kind of bra that it just, you know, it, you can see, like I still, you can see I have breasts, but they're not too much into people's faces. And there are places that I would rather to be presented as more conservative and I love them. And they happen to be, they're usually like $100 each. And I don't know, was it like Black Friday or something? Well, thankfully the size of these didn't change. So I got like both of them for $100 or 120, but they last forever. So I don't shop like a hundred of them. I just get like two once a year and then they last forever. And I have Victoria's Secret and other brands too. So that's about that. Uh, I did unboxing occasionally. I didn't do lots of shopping this year again, because after I came back from Amsterdam, which I did lots of unboxing and that kind of fun stuff, my life changed upside down. It did not went well. So I didn't do lots of unboxing. It was mainly, if it happened, it happened. And I posted an unboxing. Mainly I was not in the picture. I was not in the video. I still have my dog's bites. She's been sick lately and uh, they were ready to put her down uh, yesterday, which I was not ready. So we're kind of struggling with that too. Uh, so I don't know for how much longer she's gonna be with me, but um, she's hanging there. They did an evaluation on last Tuesday and uh, I said, this is going to be the worst year ever and the worst Christmas ever. 
So they put her on some medications because she was, in, she was in so much pain that she would be so aggressive. And I lost work last uh, Monday because she attacked me while I was asleep, which is quite scary. That could have happened to my face or so. Um, so that was another thing that happened with Gidget. Um, so yeah, there's lots of drama that happened and I kind of got lost in life and it was a difficult period of time. I was lucky that a few friends that I didn't reach out, I, I didn't forget about them, but I was so lost in life that I, I wasn't, I wasn't a good friend for them but they were so amazing and they are so amazing that um, they've sent me handmade cards, pictures of their cats, uh, you know, a bunch of friends from another, like in the States, they just put a bunch of signatures and small notes. Uh, I just got another one that my friend from Ottawa teachers of her cats and you know cute this one is a picture of dog brighten up my day so i can just you know carry forward because you can only push forward so much but i'm grateful for having them and i will not take that for granted and i don't think you can ever have enough number of those friends okay i'm trying not to cry i promise but you know it's gonna happen i have Two important unboxing about to happen. I mean, coming hopefully soon. One is a pair of boots that uh, my essay from Vancouver, uh, apparently in December in Canada, uh, Chanel gave this option again to people so that they can send you a link and then you can pay through the link and you can purchase that bag or you know, we're ready to wear, ready to wear, or I don't know, a pair of shoes or boots or I don't know, accessories or twillies or whatever, because we did not have that luxury for almost a year. So as soon as I got noticed by my essay in Argus, uh, I'm like, okay, I need a pair of boots because all of the boots I have are black or they're brown, they're brown or they're black. And my, you know, cocoa handle, my boy bag, my uh, golden from Lady Dior, they're not brown. They're beige gold, that kind of colors, if I make any sense. You must have seen these uh, in my previous videos. Uh, and I will try to add them to my next unboxing and I will take like kind of, you know, uh, you know, pictures of them together so you all put them together so you would see and I hope they would look good together because there is no exchange or return with Chanel and it's in Vancouver I'm in Halifax it's like uh four hours this uh, different time and I purchased them on Monday and I'm ex and it was supposed to be here on today but then we had terrible storm yesterday going on which um uh, I ended up having a bad car accident, which thankfully it was just my left side of my body is all bruised all the way down. It's not good, but uh, I'm thankful that yesterday was the last day of my clinic and I'm not on call. I'm not doing anything till January the 3rd. So um, my left wrist, uh, because of the car accident here, and my whole left side body all the way down to here my ankle it's all bruised we went to hospital nothing is broken which is great uh gidget has done these so i really couldn't put gloves on um but thankfully i'm fine i'm alive and i'm here now talking to you guys this video is going to be long and i apologize for that but there's a couple of things to address so i have that unboxing coming it was supposed to be today, but unfortunately now it says estimate time uh, December 29th, which I believe is going to be next Friday, 
anyways as soon as i get them i'm gonna do an unboxing video right away it's just you know my nature i'm not patient or whatever it's like always it's like it's my first pair right? my first dress or whatever but um my essay said it's not exactly it's suede it's suede and i did a short video of it it's suede and it has a zipper inside and says chanel with a cute heart and i think it's written chanel on it here too and then the front part obviously it's chanel style it's like patent uh i think it's patent leather black the rest is suede beige but i don't know like it's not beige beige but it's it's not brown either so it's not it's something that it's gonna go with like i i asked her honestly i want a pair of boots to go with my boy bag and my gold lady dior and my old metallic gold lady dior and my cocoa handle in beige and she said you will be fine they're not matchy matchy and I don't like matchy matchy, but she said you will be fine. And I trust her, so hopefully that's it. The heel is 100 millimeter. I don't own anything in 100 millimeter because that's, wow, that's too much. But it does have a, a ledge in front of it, like, like 15 millimeter. So she said it's comfortable. It's not really uncomfortable and i do have boots from chanel that they're 85 millimeter and they're not uncomfortable like i can walk in them for a good couple of hours uh and they don't have a ledge in front so hopefully this would be fine and you know what if it's not that comfortable it's going to be winter time it's going to be uber restaurant inside outside or a meeting inside outside it's won't be want that pair of shoes i'm just saying if it's not very uncomfortable if, if it's not very comfortable it won't be that pair of shoes that i'm gonna be walking down on fifth avenue in new york city for i don't know half a day so that's something i'm excited for and then um yesterday she said i also have because she realized i have lots of tweeries i do have like mitzah and tweeries i did an unboxing for a mitzah from a dior um we all know Dior this year went crazy they had this at the beginning I'm like butterfly I'm not a big fan of butterfly or you know animals and this it's just not me like you know Dior has this tiger thing and yeah I'm not a big fan of like having animals on myself I'm not against them I love animals but I don't have animals on me to be part of my outfit but they did, and then when that butterfly started, I was like, okay. But then they did an amazing job that I'm so jealous that I bought the Christmas thing that they had this cashmere sweater last year for like $3,000 or so, or a bit maybe higher. And I thought I'm going to get something that is going to be iconic and timeless. But this year with this nice butterfly thing, I think I lost and I would have rather to bought one this year, but I'm not buying anymore with that bad history or the bad thing. Not bad. It's yeah, that's a different, uh, another different upsetting video about what happened between me and Dior and my business and Dior and how Dior screwed me over and over and over. And why do I still purchase pieces from them? Because I like some of their pieces. First of all, the ready to wear pieces are more affordable and compared to, let's say Hermes, I know my sizing in it and it's easy to get them online. The refund and the return is easy and the quality is good. And what was the most important thing? Um, the quality is good. Uh, you can order online. Um, they're not very expensive. They are relatively like $3,000 for a sweater. It is, it's not cheap. It's not like, you know, pocket money, but it's not Chanel or Hermes to be seven, $8,000. Uh, and it fits me well. It's like, 
you know how Zara is a relatively cheap brand and you can buy, I don't know, a jacket for $20 and it can look so good on you. And there are some people, including Kate Middleton, uh, the Princess of Wales, uh, Prince William's uh, wife, Zara looks great on her. It's like it's been made for this person. It's been cut for this person. So uh, Dior looks good on me. Um, I can't de deny that. It does look good on me. Uh, I'm not a big fan of it. I do it against my will. But if something comes up and I'm like, oh my God, that would look great. I will order that and I will get it. Having said that, I have not purchased that many things from Dior this year. I have got a pair of loafers uh, just because, uh, just for the clinic and hospital for running around. Uh, they are super comfortable. A friend of mine got it. She was super happy. But the problem was with sizing. Uh, I had an unboxing with that too. My size in Dior is 36. Uh, they came in 36 and they were so big. So I sent a return them to Vancouver. Uh, now I'm gonna get the second time, I'm gonna get 35 and 35 and a half, which is crazy because in Chanel I'm 36 and a half. In Hermes I'm 37. In Dior I was 36 and now 36 is too big. I don't know. But again, you know, different styles, different sizes, that kind of things. So uh, I'm hoping to get that by the end of next week or sometimes in the like first week of January. That would be an exciting unboxing for me too. Uh, the most exciting unboxing for me that I'm looking forward to is I finally decided to purchase a bag through or from Lunar or Lunar or I don't know how it's the because every time I listen I don't know why I have a running nose uh, I'm trying to hold back my tears but it's really in pain but it's really not very easy I think it's Lunar uh, L-A-U-N-E-R Lunar London which has history goes back to the uh, 40s and 50s and it's the only brand that a fashion brand that uh, Queen Elizabeth II, the late Queen and Camilla uh, have been worn it on different occasions. So as much as I love a uh, royal family in England or British royal family, I should say, um, and as all of us know, since ever since Queen has started wearing this brand often, more often and often, the prices were on the raise. And then um, since Queen passed, the price increased again. And then Camilla just wore a nice royal blue one not long ago. And then that caused another reason. So it's kind of just on the jump and on the go. And the logo is so subtle and fine. It's not too much in your face at all. So for people who live in cities or countries that, uh, you know, Chanel and Dior or Hermes is a well-known brand, uh, Toronto, uh, New York, London, Paris, that your safety would be compromised then um, maybe Loner would be a brand that you would go with because the quality, it's amazing, like top notch, no question. The queen has worn it, okay? So that you can't criticize the quality. Um, the logo is so subtle. You can just look it up. It's so subtle and, you know, just not into your face. The other good thing about, and it's handmade, everything about it is handmade. The other good thing is this brand is all customized. So there is no refund or return and that kind of thing. It comes in different, um, you know, like, I think, I don't know. I know the one I'm going to get, it's uh, Jody, And the next one I'm going to get is Iris. But there, it comes in different sizes, different styles. And I think even though it's not like, I think it's like 10 styles, but 
it's enough to make everyone happy that if, if you go on the website, you will eventually pick something. It comes like, you know, um, a triangle, it comes in a trapezoid, it comes in, you know, like how, uh, what's the name, Celine bags are, or a lady Dior. So there are like, and then the customer service, oh my God, it's amazing. The one I deal with is, her name is Nicole, and she is, oh my God, like she is amazing. She's always on the top of things and she always answers questions as soon as she can because I haven't ever got any of those. I've never seen any and never owned any, but why I, what I have learned in the past two years that I'm in fashion and I'm wearing my pieces is I can't wear a heavy bag for a day. So if I'm going to a conference or to a meeting or I'm, I have to have this bag with me for all day, uh, it can't be a medium sized Lady Dior. Just that's it. It can't be a boy bag because they're heavy and they're going to hurt my neck and my back. It's already hurting. So I think it's because of the car accident, but it's, they're not, they're not comfortable. They're not for a day thing. So I can't do it. Uh, maybe if I was like 5'10 and I was a bigger lady, they would look better on me. But the medium sized boy bag I have or the medium sized lady Dior, they're a bit too big for me or they look big on me and they're heavy. And they have so much spaces that I don't need it because I don't carry much at all. I carry, I don't know, my phone, a uh, bottle of water, maybe, maybe not um my keys uh i don't know that's all i carry i don't carry uh you know some people carry makeup and they carry this and they carry they carry like they're gonna go on a trip it's not me so i i asked nicole that i want something to be equal to small lady dior but if possible kind of you know not as heavy as lady dior and I don't want it to be Lady Dior. I don't want it to be in people's faces. I want it to be, you know, something low profile and blah, blah. And then she said, you have to go with Jodi. She gave me the weight. She gave me the dimensions. Oh my God, she was amazing. And then I showed her my collection and I told her, this is what I have. And these are my outfits. And these are my shoes. And because it's good that it's customized, but the problem is you can't choose. You can't make up your mind unless you know exactly what you want, unless you are crazy about a color or a design or something. I don't think it's easy to pick because it's the front of the flap, behind the flap, inside the flap, the back pocket, uh, in front of the bag, sides of the bag, back of the bag, uh, and then the suede from inside the bag. It's just so many. There's so many items that you're like, oh my God. And then you try to figure it out. And then halfway through your life, I don't know, should I go with uh, dark gray or regular gray or like, they're like, I don't know, like lots of grays with undertones with different undertones you don't know which one should i go with and it's not there to see because i'm sure in reality even though i've heard from so many other influencers that they are quite similar when you receive them that's why they don't have the return and exchange because it's exactly what you see but um i eventually decided to go with light gray on the front flap and i think i have a short video of that on my, Insta my instagram and my youtube channel too and then the rest is going to be dark gray not the darkest gray they have which is like almost black just dark gray and then um dior had a mitza which is because of the holidays 2023 with butterflies and stuff and it's like a very nice light pink with shadow of gray in it, which I think is the perfect match for the handle of, and it also comes with a strap too, I apologize, forgot that. 
and the strap collar matches the handle collar. So I think that mid, that mids, I don't know, mids or tweery, mids, I think when we call, when we talk about Dior, we have to call them mids. So when we talk about Chanel, we have to call them tweery. But anyways, I think in French it's even band-aid or something like that. Anyways, uh, it's, uh, I, I already got it. And the reason is, I'm going to be very honest, I wanted to have the Christmassy uh, bag and design everything of Dior for 2023. Because even though I'm an Elliot member, Dior did not give me any Christmas gift this year. They gave me a nice bag last year. This year, I did not even receive one, even one card, like not even a card saying Merry Christmas Dior, nothing which is very upsetting, but you know, there are so many other brands, move on, and life is not gonna stop just because Dior doesn't acknowledge their customer, it's on them. Uh, but having said this, let's make it to the main thing. Uh, I love their beauty stuff, to the most part, because their eyeshadows are quite subtle, which that's what I wear, again, my job, you guys know, I'm a surgeon. My job doesn't, so I'm a surgeon in a low profile personality. So I don't put like black eyeshadow on with like dark brown and you know, those smokies. It's not me, it's not my personality. It's not Sherzad, it's just not me. So Dior uh, eyeshadows, and I do have, uh, I already have posted them on YouTube. They are, you know, faded, you know, light uh, cream, light, uh, I don't know, gold. They're quite light and you can kind of, you know, make them a bit bolder or not, but they suit my personality, they suit my job and I love them. Having said this, I got a gift from a friend, a very dear friend, a limited edition, eyeshadow from Chanel 2023 that that's also the same it's five different colors and they're all shiny and glossy and you can tone it up and tone it down you can use just the uh, light green and light yellow and just have something simple or you can use the gray and the black and kind of have it smoky and night and evening thing so that's that and then, um, okay, so, uh, okay, this is the candle. I wanted to, I usually don't talk negative about brands, but I always did about Dior, but that would, that deserves a different uh, video. So, Guerlain, I don't know how many of you guys, the ones from Europe must have heard this brand. Uh, I used its uh, cosmetics and makeup and stuff, uh, back when I was in my, you know, 20s and so, and it was an expensive brand. And I love candles. I'm allergy to scents, so I can handle, and I love candles, so I can handle the candles that they are super light, the ones that you kind of enter the house and you're like, smells good, that's it, end of the story. Not that like, oh my God, or nothing. So I got the Tom Ford, uh, I can actually show it to you here. This is a Tom Ford Vanilla Tobacco. The, the, it says uh, Tobacco Vanilla, um, Tom Ford. Um, will I buy it again? No. Why? Because it was not vanilla. It was not tobacco. It was a very, very, very light scent. So I think it's mainly the packaging, wonderful. You can tell gold and brown. And I kind of use it as a decor for my coffee table. I'm being honest, even though it's empty. But do I buy it again? No. Um... That's that. So I went to Berlin and I thought, well, let's try this. 
I paid 162, oh my God, it's, it's not even that nice. $162 and then I opened up and I'm like, oh my God, this just smells like soap. It was like sanitizing products. And I'm like, oh my God, this is too, it was so bad that we had to put it in the garage. We couldn't even keep it in the house. I called the customer service tomorrow, terrible customer service. Uh, somehow it was always the same person and then she's like sorry if you have opened the product we won't take it back I'm like what it's not a dollar store I spend this much money I expect good customer service and you have to take this back Re I don't know refund re uh, return exchange offer something to me and they're like no sorry we can't do anything end of the story and honestly they did and then she said you know what when you want to place your next purchase add this code we're going to email it to you and then we're gonna make up for it because you know it was your first experience blah 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 and i know you're gonna just say what and you're gonna yell at me but i did purchase the second one because this one said this is wintry, you want to sit next to the fireplace and smell this wonderful woody scent. No, this smells like sanitizer stuff again, but as not as terrible as that one. The names are French, I have no idea, but this one was online exclusive. It was more often sold out, so I thought this is going to be amazing. Nah. Uh, yeah, I'm stuck with it. And then look what they sent me for gifts. A pouch and it's hot like um you know like there's gonna be something in the pouch i have this in the um i had the unboxing video and then i'm like huh that's it and then i keep looking and nothing so they gave me a pouch and i think they thought so i think their ego is so high that they thought stupid pouch that we get for free from Dior and Chanel and we don't even or Lancome and they're like sitting there doing nothing we have those sitting there doing nothing and then Berlin which I don't even haven't heard one North American person have heard, been heard about it because I wanted to get rid of the last one they're like Berlin like it, where is the brand from he's like what is it I'm like it's French and nobody has heard it. So anyways, last time, promise, I'm not gonna purchase anything again. Terrible customer service, it's their job. Like with other brands, Jim Alone, for example, I have stuff happening with them and I've called them, they apologized. They said, okay, we're gonna send you another one. We're gonna be sent out to Expediate tomorrow and I've got the second, like let's say I opened up and I'm like, mm, I don't like the smell it's different from the other ones or I don't like this smell well let's try this one and they they would tell me keep that one we're gonna send you a new one which is very nice and you're gonna ask me then why don't you stick to Gem to Gem alone because well it's Gem alone it's British I like British stuff and it's way cheaper than these I think Gem alone is 105 Canadian which with taxes would be like 120 ish the problem is Tom Ford, and it seems like Berlin. Also, Jesus. Also, uh, I got. Oh my God! I got three. Um, the, the package of three candles from Cartier. My uh, lovely sale associate Andy, and I love that scent. The problem is they don't sell it. So after I begged him that how on earth I can get another set, another candle. And then he's like, oh, leave it to me. I'll, I'll ask my manager. Then he's like, damn it, it's just for Christmas. I'm sorry. But he just texted me the other day that I have a surprise for you. Wait for it in the mail. I'm hoping he somehow snuck out and gave me another candle, but I don't know. It could be chocolate or something for Christmas because he does those stuff for Christmas too. 
I also got a nice uh, keychain holder for Christmas uh, from Cartier, which I did unbox that one as well too. I had done so many unbox, not so many, but I've done a fair number of unboxing and YouTube into short videos, but uh, like I haven't spoken. So this is the first time I've been speaking over, but those ones were mainly just, uh, you know, short video or opening up, this is it, that's it, end of the story. So, uh, Twili. So my essay, Nagas uh, Chanel essay in Vancouver showed me a wonderful, very nice Twili, and she knows I'm crazy about Twilies. She said, you're gonna get this, you have to get this. And I think it's 540 and yeah, I'm gonna get it. And, uh, but it's like uh, beige black. So it kind of would go with uh, my Coco handle, my Lady Dior. So it's, I'm gonna get the wear out of it. Uh, okay, so with Dior, like I said, I do get their beauty stuff because um, they do have this customized thing, like when you want to, first of all, their packaging is nice when you want to gift, you know, Jado or uh, Miss Dior or something to a friend. The packaging is super nice. For example, like this, Chanel does not have this packaging. Chanel comes like in a pouch or something. And Dior this year had the uh, option of customizing the perfume or the cologne to that person so if that person was dr smith i could add dr smith to the savage or um i don't know like whatever i bought for you know my friends i had the option of adding their name onto it which Chanel didn't have. I got the blue uh, Chanel for another friend and it just came in, you know, the cell phone and this, like this cell phone and all these uh, normal things that I could have got it from the shoppers next door too. I just thought maybe if I get it from Chanel, it would have lovely packaging, but no. So that's the other thing. So with Dior, I, I, I don't know why I got obsessed with this, lipstick holder which is i'm sure you've seen it it's like the canage uh pattern with the dior down here so i got this and then i and then it says on it this is for dior addict this is dior addict i put it here it doesn't go all the way in i hope you guys can see it so does it work and I did email them and I did contact them and I didn't get anywhere. So nobody helped me that why this didn't happen. Another one, this one, that's it. Doesn't even bother go further. So that's it. So I'm a person that doesn't give up very easy. So what I did was I wanted to gift a friend, a dear friend, uh, it's your uh, lipstick and I know it's getting last minute. Well, it's really getting last minute. So I ordered it and I said, you know what? I'm going to order a filler of Dior Addict, which is basically something that apparently goes straight to this. I just learned it from YouTube that you don't have to worry about this whole thing. So I ordered, I think, diorama or diorama or diorama whatever you say it i'm going to try it and i'm going to tell you how it looks like right now i have chanel the the red red one because it's christmas but i will try this on and then show you how it is so let's get to this and the other thing that dior has is there is skin products it's um it's more affordable and I feel they are better than Chanel. Like with Chanel, I have got their products, the ones that they're up to $800 Canadian. And I put them on and I'm like, okay, nothing. Or I get a pimple and I have a good skin. Like I, I, I up right now, I have nothing on my skin, like nothing. Because like I said, I was not in the, I, I feel better now that I'm talking to you guys, but 
I literally, uh, I just came out from, you know, doing my grocery and running errands and dropping the last minute Christmas gift. So I just put the red lipstick to go do my grocery and saying hi and dropping gifts. So um, I didn't put any makeup on. So this is me. But then when I put the Chanel uh, skincare stuff on myself, I problems start to happen, which I didn't have them before. But with Dior, the prestige one, um, I got so many samples every time I ordered something from beauty and stuff like that. Sorry, this is a bit crooked. Um, yeah, I don't know why, but you know, don't, I hope it's not that funny, but anyways. Um, uh, and then I just, I love them. They make my, my skin feel fresh and I enjoy them. So that's another reason I'm ordering these because I get to get samples, free samples of Prestige Dior and I'm enjoying those free samples. Okay, let's get into this. I'm gonna open it towards you. I hope it doesn't disappoint me again because that would be not, uh, that would not be nice, but let's see. So I don't know if you guys have did, uh, if you have guys have done any business with Beauty Dior. This year they kind of have earth protective kind of um, stuff in your boxes that, I don't know, kind of it's like what airbag does, but it's kind of to, I don't know, protect the earth or something. Anyways, let's get to the bottom of it. So, okay, this is the Dior Addict Shine Lipstick Rouge Brilliant, um, and it's a hydrant one. And uh, the number is 727 Dior 2A. I'm scared to open this because I think this is what I got for my friend. I hope she's not watching this. And then this, yeah. So this is a Dior Addict, uh, the refill or recharge. And yeah, 667 Dior, oh, Dior Mania. I don't know. So let's try. It would really piss me off if this does not fit in that. That would not go well. Okay, so that's nice. Has a nice like whitish thing with uh, gold. Has said you know Christian Dior for blah blah blah. Okay, and. I don't know how much you can, because my hand has so many bruises on it that it's hard to see, but I wanted to go with the darker color because most of my colors are like, people call them a spit color because they're so faded. So I went with something darker. Okay, one, two, three, there you go. Okay, so it worked, yay. Now I have a nice, uh, lipstick cover, um, uh, case, sorry, a lipstick case with the canage. And I do love the canage, um, pattern more than quilted Chanel pattern. I know it pisses me off because I love Chanel more than Dior because of their best, better, how they served me better, how they treated me better. But at the end of the day, I would buy what it looks better on me and I like it better. So dark red, my favorite color. And it says Dior down here, it fits in. It has a CD at the end of it. Okay, so that worked out successful, that's it. So there must be something going on with these two because I thought the cases, there's some issues with the case. It's not the case. Let me keep, well, I don't know what I'm going to do with this, but I guess that's garbage. Um, let me see what's this. 
Dior Silver Phone Char with compliments from Perfume Christian Dior. I have absolutely no clue. <coughs> My apologies. So maybe I was wrong about saying so many negative things about Dior, but let's see what it is. I'm impressed, okay. Um, put garbage down here. By the way, it's minus 15. It's Canada is experiencing one of its cold winters. November, we had minus 25. It's now December, still cold. I slid on ice last night. Uh, we never had this much ice in two days in a row. Uh, it's Christmas. Uh, it's been very cold, so it's a cold day. Okay, let's just see how this thing goes. I have no idea. Okay. What is this? Okay. I apologize. I have no clue what this are, so just bear with me so I figure these out. Okay. So they have the charm of the, you know, Dior star on it, which based on what Christian Dior believes, it brings luck. So, I will, how the hell does this work? Well, it's, it shouldn't be this complicated, okay. I did not pay for this. This is absolute complimentary. It says on it, it's complimentary and I'm surprised. I was not expecting this. It could be because I ordered lots of beauty stuff. Okay, so this is it. So what do you do with this? So there's a bunch of uh, plastics on it. Dior Beauty. Okay, this has absolutely nothing to do with uh, my relationship with Dior because as you guys know, Dior fashion and Dior beauty, they are like two different sessions. Okay, I have to uh, clean down here again. Okay, well there is, over the charms, there is a uh, plastic to protect them. And there is a CD here as well. So there is a CD, there is a star, and there was a plate that says uh, Christian Dior uh, Beauty. Okay, so what does this thing exactly do? And this is where it's gonna attach to the phone. Okay, I have no idea. Um, yeah, I have no idea and these charms, okay. Wow, there's more charms. They really spend time on this, okay. <laughs> I'm not that patient. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. So there is six charms, two stars, one CD, and two tiny star charms, and one charm that just says Christian Dior Beauty. I don't know how this thing will be hooked up to my phone, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna YouTube and I'm gonna figure this out and I'm gonna show you how this works. But thanks to them for, um, it's a nice surprise. It's not about the value. I always say that and I always mean it. It's not about value, it's about surprising. It's about being thoughtful. So I'm glad that they made me happy by sending me this that I'm going to figure out how to use. That was it. Uh, what more? Okay. So yeah. Okay. So this is the Dior Prestige cream, but this is like hand cream and stuff. It's like body cream. No, I'm lying. Um, uh, intensive repairing cream, fine texture. Okay, so this is different from the other ones that I got because I got 
uh, hand lotion from Dior, uh, Prestige Dior. Uh, this is not that. Uh, this is for skin. It's not for hand. I mean, by, I mean, it's this is for face. It's not for <laughs> hands. Is the skin too? I know. Uh, so this is for face, but repair. And uh, I will add at the end of the video the what I mean by Prestige your uh, the samples because it's I don't know if I should say this but each sample is five milliliter which is or five cc and it's free well it's not free like you purchase things that you need and then it comes free and then um, the and it's serum and the serum itself is 50 cc and it's six hundred dollars so I basically can place 10 orders for different things like lipstick or, you know, I got their limited edition um, blush. I got their limited edition eyeshadow. I got their uh, mascara for a friend. So I did lots of, you know, Christmas gifts from Dior and every time I purchase it. So I have almost $600 free uh dual prestige serum i know i'm that smart so and this one is j'adore i believe it's the perfume yeah unfortunately i can't wear this so i will gift it to a friend but um yeah it came it comes to a nice pouch yeah i love how dior pays attention to details and that's something else that i like about dior too and this is Star. I got it last year when I was in love with Dior. And uh, this essay, her name is Pam, that I, she's helping me from Vancouver with the shoes and stuff like that. Uh, she sent me this, uh, I told her like, I really, I'm getting this loafer because of the bag. And she was like, okay. So when the box of shoes came, it was in white, like, you know, classic Dior. And I'm like, okay, because I spent, I think it was like, I don't know, $1,800 or something for a pair of loafers because I wanted the box. And I know that's silly, but that's how fashion works. You spend money on things that they sound silly to people or lots of people. I don't care. And then I, and then I open and I'm like, oh, it's white. And before opening the rest, I texted her. I told you I wanted the 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 motif of the uh, butterfly. She's like, just open the box. Obviously, you haven't opened the box. So poor thing, because to avoid it damaging, she has folded very nicely the bag in that white box, and she has put a very nice, lovely, you know the uh gold uh dior star charm that is supposed to bring luck which is the same thing on this uh, phone thing and in a nice uh plastic bag so it won't get scratches which i put it on the tree right away i have enough stars that i can decorate my tree by dior but i'm upset with them so i only put one the one that pam sent to me and then after half an hour, Pam is like, how are the loafers? I'm like, I haven't tried in them. I'm so excited with the bag and the star. She's like just laughing. So anyways, um, and then I got the motif, the thing, the, the, two, the mitzvah. And I heard from the influencers that if you shop online, even though it's going to be during Christmas holidays, you are not going to get the bag that has the butterfly motif and you know that holiday season what do you call it spirit on it and which broke my heart but i said even if the you know that cone thing that the uh, mitza comes with it even that has some butterflies i would be happy that i purchased something around the holidays 2023 from dior fashion and even that online shopping came in a nice small bag butterfly motif uh loved it adored it and i put it on uh youtube 
I think if you know Trish, she's crazy about Dior. She's crazy about Dior, like how much I was crazy about Dior last year. So I told her, hey, she lives in Arizona, um, Scott Dale, I believe. I said, listen, you can tell your uh, followers or subscribers that if they do order online, they do get the bag. And she's like, really? I'm like, yep, they do it. So they get it. So tell everyone. Okay, so that was it. I'm going to close this video by wishing everyone a Merry Christmas. I hope, I really hope everyone has.